stuff right here. You see those wiggling things on the crayfish's back. If you look closely, yeah, you see that? Those are weird transparent worm thingies. I'm gonna search up what they are before I decide to uh, get upset. They're only on the crayfish. Uh, there's none on the turtles, which is nice. Clark is doing quite fine. Every so often the light decides to just not work. But there, I don't know if you can see, but there's like one or two on him. Uh, maybe a few on the other side of them. I also have some, a few small minnow in here. But when I noticed it, it was on this guy right here. From what I've seen on YouTube, they may not be harmless, but I'm still gonna do my research. And if it's something big, I'll clean this out tomorrow, scrub the crayfish, check the, uh, scrub the turtles as well. Minnows will be fine considering that. They're too small to have them. And yeah, well, I'll do my research, head to bed. So I'll see you guys probably in the morning. Just to let you know, uh, this video was going to be uploaded three days ago. Uh, like the day after the bass fishing video. But guess what? Major power outage. So that was just nice. Uh, but now I can finally continue the video. But after all that, look how beautiful it is outside. That is just amazing. Wow. Just look at the lake, though. Let's get it on to the video, though. First thing of order is we should probably turn on Vinci's crown and get her all fed up. Just feed her so we can, uh, yeah, you can already see kind of like, you can't see it on the camera, but I can see like a few on the side of the crayfish. Uh, I don't think there's any back there. To be honest, I have no idea where all of the crayfish are. Maybe she ate them. Maybe, maybe not. So, let's feed her real quick. And then, while she's distracted, well, first, I'm gonna <clears throat> go get a container, fill it with water. So, I'll be right back. So, first order of business, if you're ever having this problem, uh, fill up a little container with water. You don't want aeration or filter in there and you want something to scrub off your crayfish with. So let me explain what this is for. So first you want to scrub off your crayfish. Uh, try and scrub them off well. And then you want to put them in the distilled water for about 10 minutes. And then you want to check them over again, scrub them off and then allow them in the distilled water. See if you can see it. I need uh, de detritus worms uh, still on them. And then it just goes from there. So I'll explain along the way. Let me go fetch the crayfish inside the aquarium real quick. Yes, you can't really see them that well when you take them out of water, but you can see if I can get my screen to adjust, there's that little white shine right there. That's one of them, and it's all curled up. Uh, this guy's bubbling, but we don't want him out of the water too long. We'll pull him back in once we scrub him. Accidentally just made a slow mo of me saying this, but I don't know if you can see that. But there's little detritus worms on the underbelly of the crayfish. Uh, but we'll have to scrub those off. This guy is still all right. So I don't want him out of the water any longer. So let's get that scrubbed off. Okay, so sometimes the crayfish can be hard like this. That's the whole point of having the distilled water on hand. Just so if they're playing hard and you can't get uh, reach other places like you can see the underbelly, uh, he or she is protecting themselves. Uh, but I have noticed uh, that 
detritus worms have been coming off these guys, actually. Uh, I've been scrubbing them off, and you can see their little bodies. I'm going to let this one back in. And there's only one more left to just, you know, scrub off. It's that one right there. Uh, still, you can still see one visible one. Will you please let go? Good crayfish. So we'll clean off the last one. And let's get to that right now. To be honest, that wasn't really hard. Uh, uh, for those of you who have done maze puzzles, like where you have to, there's like multiple paths, or uh, let's say strings, let's say if you have like cats, and then you have to use like strings or something. Uh, that's basically what I had to do. Go with one hose, not like three. But let's take out the filter cartridges and then we'll spray them off. You just love it when you're cleaning your filter cartridge. You just see your dog staring at you. Yeah, I know. Just, just, just beautiful. Just, just see your dog staring at you from a, from a distance. Yeah, definitely makes you feel comfortable. <laughs> uh, to really be honest, uh, the hose is kind of acting up a little bit. But, to be honest, I've had that cartridge for a little while now, so it'd probably be a good idea to take out a new one. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but worms are coming off. You see that one, like, in between the claw right there? That's one right there. So... We'll give it like about five more minutes and then they'll be fine. And filter's working with char. You can see the charcoal is making bubbles again. So, uh, I'll check up with you in about five minutes. Good news, good news. Okay, so on that guy right there that we're staring at directly right in front of you, you see that dead tritus one? It's coming out of the crayfish. Because they like hiding underneath that little part of them, the two little scales right there. And uh, it's only coming out just because it's having a hard time breathing. Okay, so my crayfish, look, detritus worm free, with it, which is nice. I'm having a speaking problem today. Uh, but we, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna dump this in there. I'm gonna pick up the crayfish by hand if they won't be angry. How about you not be angry, sir? Stop! Stop, sir, stop! Thank you. Oh, grabbing onto your friends, are you, huh? Wow, I, I tell you, sassy crayfishes nowadays. And then we'll just go ahead and dump this water out. Because, you know, that try test works. So it seems as though we got a lot of them. So this is going quite good. Uh, we got a new filter up and running. So, yeah, crayfishes are doing nice. But I already said you. Please stop asking for food. Okay. You, you can't bite through the glass. Uh, can she? I don't know, maybe. Thank you guys for watching. The crayfish are looking detritus worm free, if that's how you say it. Uh, I will uh, update you guys uh, probably in a few days, weeks. Uh, again, I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. I was planning on uploading three days ago after the bass fishing video, but of course there had to be a power outage, but Actually, I could have recorded them. The uh, internet, for some reason, wasn't out, so that, that was nice. And we had a generator, so we were doing all right. The turtles survived, same with the creative fish. It was also my brother's birthday during that time, so if you guys could say happy birthday uh, to my brother in the comments down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys all for the support, and see you guys sometime next time. See ya.